thank you for attending this presentation. It's called Kids Will Be Fun. I'll discuss our activities with the Ruby programming shown in them, especially small Ruby, which is a key part of it. Here we go. I'm Cody, Koji Takao, one of the C Ruby committers and the leader of the Ruby programming Shonendan. Shonendan is a Japanese word. Shonen means the boys and girls. Dan means an organization. So, Ruby programming Shonendan means a boys and girls organization for learning Ruby programming. Also, I'm a research engineer at Network Applied Communication Laboratory, aka NACL. This presentation is made possible by NACL. NACL, of course, is famous for being Matsu's employer. The headquarters of NACL is located in Matsue City, Shimane Prefecture of Japan. Matsue is a city of about 200,000 people near Hiroshima. Please visit NACL in our idyllic provincial city, Matsue, if you are interested. Okay, so I'll return to the main topic. Six years ago, I started to teach Ruby programming for junior high school students. In Japan, junior high school is for three years. My motivation was the Ruby City Matsue project and to teach my son Ruby. The Ruby City Matsue project was managed by the city government. Matsue Mayor Masataka Matsuura hoped to help Ruby community because Mat, who created Ruby, lives in Matsue and Ruby generated new businesses. So the government decided to promote IT business using Mat and Ruby in Matsue. Then the government started to this project to help IT businesses. Also, IT business require many IT engineers. So one purpose of the project was to increase the number of robust in Matsue. Six years ago, the project was looking for teachers that could teach Ruby to the youth. My second goal was my real motivation. I love Ruby and IT, and IT engineering, so I plan to teach my, my son, Ruby, to become an IT engineer when he grows up. However, six years ago, I did not have any tools or materials for teaching Ruby to youth. Also, Kids Ruby did not exist at that time. So I decided to make tools and materials for teaching Ruby to youth. So I started to teach Ruby to youth six years ago. Since then, I have taught Ruby to over 250 junior high school students. Mm, this number is low. However, only 5,000, uh, only 5,000 or 500 junior high school students live in Matsue. So I teach about 1% junior high school students in Matsue City each year. That's good, right? 
Now, how is Ruby for programming education? As you know, Ruby is a programmer's best friend. Ruby has simple syntax, is object-oriented, and has a garbage collector. So I believe, believe it's the same for kids who want to start to code. In these six years teaching Ruby in Japan, I've encountered these problems. First, typing is difficult. Most kids don't know how to make use of symbol. Pressing shift plus comma is hard. Second, English. English is so hard. <laughs> Me too. They can understand the Roman alphabet, but basic words like if and do are still challenging. Third, kids don't know Ruby syntax and standard libraries, so they aren't able to work on their own, which leads, uh, which leads them to slow down the reading experience pace and be frustrated. It also increases the need for more instructors in the classroom. Therefore, kids often quit before they realize that programming is fun. This is a big problem for me. You know, in the last few years, Programming education for elementary and middle school students has increased worldwide. Programming education is being done most actively in America. In a New York Times article from May 10th, 2014, 20,000 teachers from kindergarten to high school incorporated programming classes into their cur curriculum in addition, President Obama has been saying that programming is necessary and should be a compulsory subject. So hopefully, this flow will accelerate. Next. In September, the United Kingdom officially introduced programming to the new compulsory education cur curriculum for ages five to 16. At the age of five, understanding of the concept of algorithms, building and debugging a simple program has been incorporated. Five years, five years old, four. So it's practical. There are movements to introduce programming education in many other countries. One of them is Hour of Code project by code.org. The project's goal is to train over 10,000 teachers to effectively learn how to teach others how to code. Soon after this initial step is done, it's expected that around 100 million kids to be taught about programming by these trained professionals. There are many famous people that believe in this project. The donated for this cause, for instance, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's CEO. Now, I will introduce the situation in Japan. First, about the Japanese government. Programming classes in junior high school has already been required since April 2012. Its name is measurement and control. control. In that class, projects that include controlling a small robot car are very popular. For example, making this robot follow remote directions 
or uh, to move while making use of different kinds of sensors are, are pretty common. Also, in 2011, the Japanese government declared that by the year 2020, every student would have to access to their own computer. For instance, this past April, the project distributed tablets, tablets to all elementary school students in Saga City. The programming class, classroom schedule started on October 20th. In these ways, information technology and the introdu introduction of programming education will continue to increase. At the same time, the activities of private companies have also been actively carried out. Especially recently, PEG, PEGU, which is a project to spread programming education, has become a hot topic. PEG is a joint project of Canvas and Google. Canvas is a Japanese NPO that has held workshops for children. It's not only, not only programming. PEG has held programming, programming workshops and has distributed 5,000 Raspberry Pi to education business owners in Japan. In addition, TENT manages individualized instruction. Life is Tech manages about five days boot camping and weekly school for programming. TENT and Life is Tech receive a particip participation fee or a tutation. I just interesting is that they manage the programming school as business. Other than those discussed here, workshops of a variety of programming education have been held. Programming education for youth has increased, to increased in Japan as well as overseas. By the way, do you think that why many kids programming workshops are held recently? I believe that we have a great tool and materials for teaching programming to youth. Yes, it's Scratch. Scratch is the most famous programming education tool. Scratch is a visual programming language and tool MIT has developed. It's used in the following classes and workshops of many programming. Scratch's users are more than 2 million worldwide. In Japan, it has been most often used in the workshops of programming education in elementary and junior high school students. In Scratch, instruction are blocks and combination of blocks describe your program. So you are easy to find instruction and make program. Also Scratch supports internationalization. So Japanese kids are easy to understand everything. If you want to run your program, you only press the green flag on screen, then your program starts to run. So I believe that Scratch features will solve my problems typing uh, instruction blocks. English internationalization, Ruby syntax, a combination of blocks. So we have developed small Ruby. Right now, I will show what is small Ruby.
this is small b. Uh, first, uh, you make programming. When, when, you pro uh, when you make a programming, uh, first you choose a character. Now I choose ninja. Then press this button to put instruction blocks. This is first program in small b. Then you can uh, run, you can press run button to run. This is a simple program, only show ninja. Next, uh, animation. First, you uh, put loop under event blocks and move steps here, then run. animation, but ninja on the edge uh, stop. So I try to turn ninja on the edge. If reach wall, turn then run. Okay, but, <laughs> strange, but Ninja can work sailing. Don't worry, you can set property. So, that property is turn uh, rest, left or uh, right only. Uh, kids can programming, can make program uh, with using small Ruby and the Ruby button press to show the Ruby program. Uh, and you can input program directory and here you can uh, convert Ruby to blocks. some sample program. This is car chase game. Next is Pawn. Next is Tato Graphics. Okay.
this is small b. Uh, small b, just like Scratch, small b makes use of instru instruction blocks by making use of characters and stages. These blocks are very easy to run. Things like creating, updating, and loading files are very simple. Small B can combat, uh, combat instruction blocks to Ruby code. Small B is also able to transform Ruby code to instruction blocks. This two-way communication is an interesting add for a visual programming editor. I believe this is a very special feature and it was implemented because of some interesting experience that we've had. While I was teaching programming for kids using an earlier version of SmallRuby, a very interesting situation constantly happened. Some kids would want to take the programming experience one step further. They wanted to implement more features to their programs, create programs like how to find a prime number or making a new programming language. The instruction blocks were not enough and they wanted more. They wanted to enter the code directly. Because of that, I realized that kids wished to call. So I thought that by making small b able to make use of both code and instruction blocks while linking the information would be a great add for these kids' experience by allowing them to tra transition more naturally to hard coding in their own pace and slowly get introduced to the Ruby syntax and standard library. Once these kids have learned, to the, learned the fundamental of programming using instruction blocks, I plan to introduce them as soon as possible to coding and also helping them with handy programmer things like picking an editor. Okay, now that we have small b, I believe I'd have an easier for teaching them the coding fundamentals. In this April, we've held an experimental programming class using small b. That class was designed for a group of about 288 to 288 junior high school students in Matsue City. They were divided in classes of 32 students, and in theory, there was no educational guidance material for youth. Since this was our first attempt, both teachers that worked in this experiment learned how to use the program and then proceeded to create a textbook by themselves. Even though they were not IT engineers, they thought it was easy to perform while using small b. Learning the software and later Converting this knowledge into educational material seemed to be nice and easy. Surprisingly, they required no additional instructors, and the experiment was a huge success. Based on these results, the Matsue government decided to implement computer classes using small b by April, by April 2016. 
Right now, there are about 6,000 junior, junior high students. Municipal students cover around 5,500 students. That means 91% 91, 91 of the junior high school students will have Ruby classes pretty soon. That's a, that's a lot of people. Matsue is just a start. Learning Ruby through compulsory education should take over the world. Matsue is really, really the Ruby city, right? Another topic, Small Ruby is designed for students that are over eight years old. With that in mind, combined with my passion of preparing these future programmers, I've decided to create the Ruby Programming Shonen Dan. The Ruby Programming Shonen Dan is an NPO for kids that has been working under the banner of promoting the joy of programming to many kids and building internet safety awareness for kids through programming. We have numerous activities. On the third Sunday of each month, we hold a Ruby programming event for kids and parents. These are photos from the event. Right now, I'm teaching them how to make a car chases, pro chases game. This is one, uh, this one is from a recent event. That's Raspberry Pi. The students are also in charge of assembling the components by themselves. Here are some parents supporting their kids. They are always so willing to help their kids, and that's great. But sometimes we ask them to hold this in person as hard as they can, so the kids can experiment a little and find the answers by their own effort. Sometimes the inverse process also happens. Whenever an interesting program is created in this event, we gather everyone and make a short explanation of what's happening. It's very fun. Also, we hold the Koda Dojo Matsue on the fourth Saturday of each month. The Koda Dojo is a global network of free computer programming clubs for young people. It's managed by volunteers. The Coda Dojo doesn't specify which programming language or what tool to use. So we are surely using Ruby. In the future, we will be like a youth sports club for soccer or baseball. There will be many teams, volunteer coaches with regional uh, prefecture and national tournaments, we plan to make such an organization. Small Ruby is developed by myself. If you are interested, you uh, please implement some features, then make a pull request. So I will explain about small Ruby architecture and implementation. Visual programming editor function of small Ruby we have implemented as a Rails application. The function, you can create a program with a combination of instruction block to generate Ruby code. We have implemented using Broccoli, which is a JavaScript library and made by Google. 
Berkeley has developed using the Google Closure Library for dependency and runtime code, runtime, runtime code size is small. The instru installation is simple. Berkeley is very easy to use and to develop a visual programming editor that runs on web browser. A program that is created using SmallV uh, run with DXRuby on Windows. DXRuby is a Ruby gem. It provides functions that are 2D graphics, playback music, and event handling to create 2D game. Don't worry if you use Mac or Linux. You also can use SmallRuby using DXRuby and the SDL and Ruby slash SDL Ruby gems that provide DXRuby compatibility API instead of DXRuby. SmallRuby is also able to control an Android based robot <coughs> using Dino that is made by Austin B. Bree. And we provided a reference robot, which is called Small Robot, that has two motors to drive its own, two LED and one CDS sensor. Let's look at how to actually do to define the instruction block using broccoli. This is a definition of the instruction block called move 10 steps, the character that we showed you in the previous demo. First, you name uh, motion move to the instruction block, then assign an object to it. Next, you implement the in initialization process of the instruction block to init property of the object. Here, color is blue, set label, display on one horizontal row, connectable and other instruction block before this, and connect connectable and other instruction block after this. We have specified the above. With just of this, you can define the instruction block. In order to generate the Ruby code from the instruction block, you can define a method that returns a string which is represented representing the code of Ruby, and that take an instance of the instruction block which you defined. Here, get the value of the instruction block that is specified in step. Make the string move value and return it. The good news to put parentheses around by operator precedence and adjustment of indentation, framework of broccoli will do. In small b, the definition of the instruction block and has realized the code generation of Ruby from the instruction block are uh, implemented using the framework of broccoli. Okay. Uh, conclusion. In this presentation, I started to teach junior. Oh, sorry. I started to teach junior high school students Ruby. My motivation were Ruby Steam Matsue project and to teach my son. I have created the small Ruby, which is designed for over eight years old and like Scratch.
I started to the Ruby programming shonen dan, which is a re learning Ruby organization for boys and girls, I explained. I believe that people should focus on creating tools to help everyone. Constantly facing problems and looking for the answer that will solve them is a very important aspect of our jobs. I sympathize with everyone here and I'm glad that we are all somehow involved with open source software development. Ruby is a powerful tool, a great answer for our problems. So we have to try and do our best in order to provide these future kids, these future programmers, the best tool that we can offer and let them enjoy programming as much as we do. And hopefully, in the future, they will do the same for their own kids. Thank you very much. <laughs> now I should say that, do you have any questions? But unfortunately, I can't answer right now because of my English. <laughs> <laughs> Listening is not good. Uh, speaking is so bad, sorry. So if you have a question, you could talk one-to-one -one after this presentation, sorry. Thank you so much.